No increase in value-added tax, major reform in government spending, and expansion of the economy through job creation are the key factors which the finance minister says will inspire hope in the Bahamian economy. Speaking to a specific formula he believes will work, the finance minister put the 2017-2018 budget into context amid claims that it could affect the country's credit ratings in a negative way. Clint Watson explains. I believe that the rating agencies and all those stakeholders that, that are out there invested in the Bahamas see this as a breath of fresh air. Finally, they're getting some honest, uh, uh, truthful information that they can base real uh, analysis upon. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Peter Turnquest, says while his presentation during the budget and the follow-up by many of his colleagues may appear to be a tough pill to swallow, particularly for the opposition, he believes this administration has what it takes to make the right leap for the country. We are confident that the plan that we have uh, to turn this situation around uh, will achieve buy-in from the rating agencies and all the investors out there. Uh, already we've been getting very positive feedback uh, from all of our lenders uh, and, and we're confident that we're going to be able to, to make some adjustments in year uh, that will further demonstrate our commitment to fiscal responsibility and prudence. The DPM says the government will make evidence-based decisions calculated on facts. The overall objective? To provide stability yet still implement opportunities for Bahamians and growth, here's how. As we go through and we understand the numbers and we understand the theory and the assumptions behind the numbers, we're seeing where we may be able to squeeze out uh, some of the, ex the, 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 the excesses and the, and the, and the, and the, the, the fat, if you will. Uh, we, like I said, we are very confident with streamlining some of the processes that we have, reallocating some of the resources that we have, both human and financial resources, uh, that we're going to be able to save the Bahamian people some money over the next year. And that is our objective, uh, to, to, to bring this uh, 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 expenditure under control, uh, look at our discretionary spending in particular to determine whether the Bahamian people are getting value for money uh, and then look at our revenue side to ensure that we're maximizing the taxes that are available to us. During his budget communications, Minister Turnquest revealed that there was over 300 million in unpaid bills left by the previous administration. While not confirming it, Saturday News has learned that figure may be growing. Uh, we're finding that we have commitments that exist that seems to be in one silo and the other silo didn't know uh, that those commitments exist uh, and some of them have significant impact uh, and so you know we're going to have to modernize the, the, the structure. The DPM believes once the spillage and in some cases the wastage of government funds stops they'll be in the position to expand the economy and create more jobs. Absolutely uh, you know we, we have yet to tap the creative uh, uh, um, ability uh, of our people. Uh, you know, we, we have this very insular view of what we can and should be doing. Uh, as we've been saying all along during the campaign trail, that we have to figure out how do we get outside of this two-pillar uh, 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 economy that we have. Now, as to those audits that to take place through our government agencies, according to the Deputy Prime Minister, none of them have begun as yet. He said they've been consumed with the budget debate. However, once the debate has been completed, they'll begin the process. At the House of Assembly, Clint Watson. ZNS Network News.